Yeah, okay, well my name's Tony Yard. Um, I'm a technician at the London College of Communication and I work in the print, lithographic print uh, room, which is where we are now. Um, and this is one of the machines of many that we have in here. I've been at the college since March 2000 um, and this machine was, was, was here then and I believe before I was here, it, it, no, it's been here a long time before that, so maybe yeah, from the, from the mid-80s. Mid um, I don't know that for, for a fact but I think it's been here long, longer than me. Um, when it was the London College of Printing they would have three or four of these presses. But as we got smaller and smaller in the print room they got rid of a lot of machinery, um, but we, we managed to keep one. So it's, I would say it's probably in 1963, 1964, something around there. Uh, and it's, it's by a company called Heidelberg, a German manufacturer of printing presses. This particular model is called a Heidelberg Cord, K-O-R-D. Um, and it's a, it's a machine that prints SRA2, is a maximum sheet size for this machine. Um, it, it will print spot colors, um, metallic colours, fluorescent, opaques, uh, and it will print on uh, a thin paper, say perhaps uh, a 40 or 50 gram paper up to a 400 gram board. Well, over the last five or six years, um, the machine has gone from a teaching piece of equipment actually now to a resource for the students to use at the university. So rather than teaching people how to do things on this machine, how to set rollers or how to set it up, the students come in and actually produce work on here. Um, and we do, maybe once a week, we produce a, a piece of work on here for a student. Sometimes it would be something simple, maybe two or three hundred business cards in one colour, and then other times it will be something in two or three colours, maybe two or three hundred pages. Well, digital printing, um, is every year gets better and better and, and the things that you can do with digital printing get better as well. Um, but you still, it still isn't as versatile as this type of printing. So you're limited to the types of paper that you can use with, with uh, digital printing. Like I said earlier, this one can print on something as thin as a 40 gram paper, which is almost tissue paper, up to four or even 500 gram card. And also you can print on coloured paper as well, which you're a bit limited with digital so you could you could print white on black card so digital has got its place and it and they, they keep improving it year after year but it's still mainly for small format a4 a3 and, and short runs maybe two or three hundred whereas this machine you know five or six thousand no problem um, I think this this type of machinery is still relevant to designers today because it helps them understand large format printing and the fact that not everything is printed off of an A4 inkjet and when you produce magazines, newspapers, publications it's still printed on a large sheet many times up in, in position work where pages are printed, multiple pages printed on a large sheet in colour and high quality. Okay, so this is an example of a poster that we printed for a student. It's a couple of years old now. Um, and the, the, uh, the thing that, dif that differentiates this from something you could do digitally is that it's been printed in, uh, as, on A2, which is uh, quite a large format, but it's been printed with a spot color. So it's a, it's a Pantone spot green, and it's a, a metallic silver. Um, also, I don't know if you can see, from, from the film, but um, the text has been reduced down to a very small point size. So this particular text has been reduced down to 0 0.8 point, and I think it's Helvetica new. So um, that's the whole of the Bible printing on one A2 sheet. Uh, King James V, six, one, 1611 version. Um, so that's just one example of a student's work. Um, that's just a flat sheet printed in three colors, black, Pantone green and, and uh, metallic silver.